Hey everybody, it's Pastor Drew. I spent last weekend and a lot of this past week in Peru, flying into Lima, we stayed in, uh, in, in Luana, and also right now we're in Lucamono. And uh, we've been working with some missionaries here. Actually, there's one right here. Anthony, come in here. I want everybody to meet Anthony here. Anthony is our, our missionary, a long-term missionary in Peru. Anthony, would you just go ahead and tell them kind of what, what you're doing here a little bit? Bueno, bueno, sí. Con mucho gusto. Hola a todos, ¿cómo estamos? Me llamo Antonio. We speak we speak English. So go, go ahead and, and, um, and just tell them like, you know, like a little bit what you're doing and introduce yourself. You just do that, okay? All right. Bueno, yo estoy trabajando acá por, por dos años y uh, estamos we, trabajando um, en... And I'll tell you what, somebody needs you over there. How about you go over there and I'll fill them in maybe what you're doing. Pero no yeah, que... yeah. See you. Bye. Bye. Right, see you. All right. Hey, uh, like I said, we're in Peru. You met Anthony. It's very cool. I, I'm glad you had a chance to meet him. Also, check out the scenery behind me, you know, because today we're talking about working with our hands, you know. We're talking what our hands can do and how we can serve God with our hands. You'll notice behind me there's a lot of fields. Centuries worth of work of people working uh, with their hands. Actually, uh, people work in the fields all day. That's what we've been seeing while here. They use their donkeys to bring up the corn and, and bring the goods back into town. Um, also, notice behind me too that uh, the mountains, how bare they are. Picture how tough it is to work with your hands there, right? You can also maybe hear the river behind me or see the river behind me. Uh, the river runs through uh, through the mountains and all of the villages kind of surround themselves around around the river. It makes sense, right? Because that's uh, water becomes the lifeblood of their communities, of the villages, and how they grow their food. Maybe also behind me in the mountains where it looks so dry and sandy, you see some of the Incan ruins. Uh, another example of people working with their hands, right? Actually, I want to take you to get a closer look. So come on with me as we, uh, we go get a little bit closer to the ruins. Hi, everybody. We brought you to, uh, to some of these Incan ruins. You can kind of see around me some of the, uh, some of the windows, and you can even see some of the mud on the walls. Hopefully, you can, you can see it pretty well in the video. And I have a friend with me here named, named Martin, who I've asked to come and, and kind of teach us a little bit about what this is that we're seeing. So, Martin, will you come tell us about, uh, about the Incan ruins and what was built with people's hands? Uh, hola amigo, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días, bienvenido acá a Luna Guaná, estas son las ruinas Incahuasi, nosotros podemos uh, observar aquí... Martín, uh, Mar 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 uh, Mar uh, Mar Mar we, we don't speak Spanish. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. En que yo papá, alivian mi, alivian mi huayquicha, alivian mi. Martín, we, uh, we don't, we don't, I'm having just a little bit of trouble, but uh, Martín, uh, we don't speak Quechua either. No Quechua. No Quechua. Uh, I'll, how about this, I'll take care of it, okay? Uh, okay, bye. Yeah. yeah, bye, bye, Martin. Thanks for trying. Hey, uh, if you you heard him well, I'm sure you know. First, he spoke in Spanish, and then second, he was speaking in Quechua, which is uh, which is the ancient language of, of the Incan uh, of the Incan tribe. Hey, let me tell you this too, a little bit about this area where I'm at. Uh, these ruins were were built in around 1438 by people working uh, with their hands, right? But here's here's one of the points that I want to make. Well, this stuff is really great to look at, you know, and. It, and it's neat, and it's fun to travel to, and it's fun to see. It's fun to see how people lived, what they were capable of building with their hands. It's absolutely amazing, right? Even to look at the Inca Trail that goes for miles with, within the mountain that everybody built with their hands. But my point to bring up to you uh, is this. Everything built with our hands, right? Man-made. Uh, it all comes to ruin. You know, and we get to appreciate it. We get to look at it. We get to remember it like what we get to do here. But it comes to ruin. That's what we're capable of with our hands. Uh, today, maybe in our service, we could talk about what our hands are capable of, but even better than that, uh, what God's hands are capable of. So let's talk about it uh, today in our worship service, and I uh, look forward to seeing you. God's peace.